on its way. Violet Bishop? Uh, I'm Justin Jones, staff writer for the school paper. Okay. Well, I know that you were the lifeguard the night that Claire Walker... I'm not going to talk about Claire. I just need a moment of your time. The public deserves to know. I'm not interested. Well, what's it like now that she's gone? We we continuing as a lifeguard this semester. Excuse me. What really happened that night in the auditorium? That is enough. You know how to reach me. Kate has been hounding me for an interview since we got back. He will not give it a break. Is your ear okay? Sorry, it's gross. Well, not to be like Justin Jones, staff reporter for the school paper, but how are you? Okay. You? Hey, Molly. Do you ever feel like people are treating you weird? Because you were there, I guess. Do you want to grab coffee sometime? Or, or tea? Or wine? I just, I feel like you're the only person that I can talk to about this. Yeah, that sounds nice. Well, gotta go. I'll call you lab. But let's do Thursday? Sure. not the grade you were expecting. Expecting? I spent hours on this. I spent hours at the river. There's Brian and Lena. I thought he was taking the bus this semester off. Me too. I, mean, I would. I'd go for a minute. Hey. Mind if I sit here? You're already sitting. Right. Sorry. I'm Brian. Did follow the instructions. I always follow the instructions. We've been running that experiment for years, and there's just no way that data is correct. We've never gotten anything like it. This is a class about water, Mr. Jensen, not fire. Thank you. Look, Astrid, if you'd like to redo the experiment properly, we can do so after the class. Can you do the fact? You know you're supposed to do the pre-lab before lab? What? Yeah, it was insane. Absolutely, there's seven innings, dude. We have to go there games. It's okay, kid. I'll take care of that. No, it's okay. Let me do it. No, no. I got it. You go get some rest. You look like crap. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Don't serve vodka shots here, do you? Um. Uh, it was a joke. Sorry, just a coffee's fine. Brian Marina? Hi, I'm Justin Jones, staff writer for the school paper. Hi. I'm really sorry about your girlfriend. Um, I'm writing a paper, and I was wondering if I could get your opinion Excuse on. Excuse me, could you keep your voice down, please? Yeah, man, I'm sorry. I really just. Okay, gotta... well, you know how to reach me. Hey, stranger. 
I know I haven't been a very good friend. It's fine. I get it. It's not fine. I should have reached out. I can't imagine what you've been going through. Your mom said you went and visited the walkers over break? How was that? It sucked. I mean, it was good. I guess we needed it. It was just weird, you know? It's like she's really gone. How was your break? Did you and Jack go party on some beach in Florida? Jack and I actually broke up a while ago, over the summer, before I went to Italy. Shit, I'm sorry. No, you're not. You hated him. I shouldn't have said that. It wasn't my place. It's fine. You were right, he was an asshole. <laughs> Such an asshole. Being back here must be pretty shit, huh? Yeah, I'm behind in half my classes and the ones I thought I was caught up in, I'm failing. Plus, no one knows how to talk around me. Well, I'm really glad you're back. Hey, um, thanks for saving me from that newspaper kid. Yeah, that guy is the worst. I heard he's been pestering Molly Townsend nonstop because she was a witness. Hey, when's the last time you went on one of our grand adventures? Freshman year? <laughs> Remember how mad your mom used to get in high school when you'd get high and let the ice cream melt all over the counter? <laughs> Terrifying woman. <laughs> Because my day couldn't possibly get any worse. Did you hear something? They didn't even have halibut. They only had salmon, which has a completely different flavor palette. Please come in. And that light popped on in my car again. I don't know what it could possibly be now. And I had to go back to the river to collect samples for that stupid ecology lab. And the river was freezing. Also, I cannot believe you just let that kid take my seat. Yeah, well, it backfired on me. He's a complete idiot. No, his friends who I had to sit next to were idiots. Trust me, he got like a C minus on his midterm project. Wait, did... Worse than a C minus? No way. Little Miss Perfect. Ted, <laughs> all of my data was wrong, which means that my conclusions were wrong, which means that my method must have been wrong. Why do you think I have to redo the whole thing? Astrid? I don't want to hear it, Ted. Astrid, why did I almost just drink a fish? He swam into one of my bottles while I was collecting samples today, and I thought he would be perfect for you. To do what? To keep. As a pet? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know how to take care of a fish. Yes, you can. They're so easy. Come here. Thank you for my fish. Going for a swim? Don't worry. I wouldn't have hired you if I didn't think you could swim a few laps on your own. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Don't worry about it. If you need to blow off some steam, go for it. Just be careful. You know it wasn't your fault, right? You did everything right. Just try to relax, and if you need anything, let me know.
Still trying to squeeze out a story about that walker girl? I am, but today I'm here for an actual project. Could I see the December 2003 edition? You know the drill. I need to find the article on the first stand showcase. No pens. No, you cannot photocopy it. Flash off. If you hear anything about that walker girl, you know where to find me, right? I don't hear things. Evening, Professor. Can I help you? I was wondering if I could talk to you about something. What is it? You know what it is. I have no idea what you're talking about. I really don't know what you're talking about. 